right, beauties, here is where we are starting. And my goal is to declutter, honestly, most, <laughs> more than half, solely because these are not things that I reach for all of the time. Um, a couple of them are, but generally speaking, I kind of grab like my little drawers right beside me and I use standard like singles from those drawers. So here is where we are starting. So we're gonna dive in. I guess I'm literally just gonna start right here. This is the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette from Juvia's Place. And as you can see, I have not even used this. This one I will not swatch solely because it is new. But I feel like it's a little bit too dark for me, so I feel like it could get some love from somewhere else. So this is going to go into the Declutter Pile. Another one that I am for sure getting rid of is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. This is another one that is brand new. I have not even swatched it yet, and of course I'm not going to swatch it, but I literally have plenty. Again, this is just face palettes, so I have a ton of highlighters. I definitely do not need this one. Um, so aside from those two, I will pick up each one, show you the inside, I will insert some swatches of each one, and then I will literally just say keeping it or not keeping it. Next up is the Ofra palette. This is a blush palette, the Charm Your Cheeks. Um, I've used this quite a bit. As you can see, I've used the bottom row a lot, and especially this one right here, because I feel like I can use it as a bronzer and a blush. I like that this is super universal. It goes light to dark, offers some depth, and if you're somebody that likes a matte, but kind of a more like softer sat satin type matte, I really think you'll like this type of formula. You know, there's no glitter, no shimmer, anything like that. Because I feel like I can get a lot of use out of it, and there's tons of colors in here that I know I use consistently, this one is going to be a keep. Next up is the Benefit Cheek Leaders palette. This does have blush, bronzers, and highlighters. It does have a small mirror in it. And I've used it some, but not a whole lot. I also have single highlighters and single bronzers that I prefer more. I have like the Hula Glow. So I am gonna go ahead and declutter this. This one I like because it's a little bit softer, a little bit more buildable. And then of course, if you have like lighter skin, this is perfect for your blush, your bronzer, and your highlighter. So it's kind of an all-in-one. You can also see with the highlighter right there, it's a little bit more of a like duo chromey shadow. Um, but I just don't get as much use out of it. And because I have the singles and the shades that I really, really love from them, like I have Cookie Highlighter and of course the Hula Glow, um, I think I can go ahead and declutter this one. Next up is the Makeup by Tammy That's So Cheeky palette. This one also has a small mirror. This has two highlighting shades and two blush shades. Solely because I don't reach for it all the time, and I was at one time, um, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one as well. But... That is that beautiful, like, viral type of, like, purpley pinky blush. It has a beautiful, like, orangey peachy blush and the two highlighter shades. I think this is super universal, very wearable. I like that they're pigmented, but they're also buildable and layerable. Really, really love this, but it's time to declutter. Next up is the BH Cosmetics Chocolate Cherry Truffle Palette. This one also has a small mirror. And it, again, has, like, bronzery type shades. This one is a little bit more of a shimmery, like, you know, sparkly type of bronzer, blush topper, bronzer topper. And then we have a deeper blush and then a lighter blush. I did use this quite a bit. Here are our swatches. This one is a little bit lighter in pigment, but it does build up beautifully. That is my preferred type of formula with blushes and bronzers. I don't mind pigment out the gate, but I like something that I can lay it down and be able to blend it out and then add to it and layer it and build it up if I need to. Um, but I just don't reach for it as often, so that one can also go. Next up is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Glazed Lit Kit. Um, I really love the formula of this. I just feel like aside from this one, it's a little bit too deep for me. I would say it's more geared toward like medium skin tones. Um, but if you are looking for a highlight formula that is super ultra beaming, very long lasting, but also looks nice and smooth on the skin and doesn't emphasize texture, I highly recommend. I like the combination of the different shades in here. It is a beautiful formula, um, but I'm really trying to not be wasteful. I'm trying to keep things in my collection that are love, love, loves. So this one can also go. Next up is the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. 
First of all, it looks like a beautiful like vintage makeup compact. It's so stunning and so incredibly heavy. This one right here has some beautiful like blush and bronzer and highlighty type of shades. Um, you can see like these I have, I've barely touched these at all. Literally, I've just swatched them. Um, and I've used a couple of these a couple of times. I just don't reach for it. There are certain palettes that I keep kind of in my everyday drawer. And aside from that, my face palettes aren't even with like my everyday stuff, like with my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters because I don't have the space for them. Um, I will show you swatches, of course. But I think because I don't have the room in like my everyday drawers, I just don't get as much use out of these. I feel like if I can get it way down and scaled way down, then I can fit everything kind of collectively together. So there is the swatches of this one, but that one is also going to be getting decluttered. Y'all, we have decluttered almost everything thus far, aside from one over palette. So I'm pretty darn proud of myself. Next up is this absolutely stunning quad from by Terry. It is a beautiful blush quad, but it also has like highlighting shades in here. If you are familiar with like the hourglass type of formula, that kind of beautiful, very soft, like baked type texture, you would love these. This is one of my favorites, even though it doesn't go as deep as I need it to go to in these spring and summer months. Um, it's absolutely beautiful for right now for like the cooler months when I'm a little bit more pale. And I just love it. It has a beautiful like kind of lit from within glow to it, a little bit of a luminous quality to it. It does heavily smell like rose. So if you do not like rose, you would absolutely hate this, but this is a keep. It's beautiful. It's heavy. It's substantial. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it so, so much. So this is definitely a keep. Next up is the Alomar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio. This is in the Fair to Light. It does have a mirror. And if you know, you know, I love, 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 love a blush that is peachy, corally, terracotta-y, cantaloupe, <laughs> you get the gist. Um, and I like something that has a little bit of a glow. These are glowy, but it's a beautiful like lit from within type of glow. You can see it's not super sparkly. There's no glitters or anything like that in there. I love these so, so much, especially for the fall and winter months. So this is definitely a keep. I do also like this shade right here. It's kind of a more like neutrally dusty mauve shade, and I don't have a whole lot of that that I'm keeping and or that I have in my collection. So this is a definite keep. Next up is the Alomar Cosmetics um, Hydrating Complexion Trio. This is the more bronzer one. This one is for more medium skin tones. As you can see, I've definitely used this shade a lot more than the other ones. I've not touched that one much, and I think I've used this one maybe once. Um, I really do, again, like the formula because there is a subtle, luminous quality to it. Um, and I really like this for like spring and summer months. But again, I have enough and I don't always reach for my palettes. I'm trying to keep in my collection what I love, love, love. And yes, I love this formula. I think it's beautiful, blendable, buildable. It lasts all day on my skin. I just don't need it. So this one is also in the declutter pile. Next up is the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Palette. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the packaging? Absolutely stunning. I truthfully feel like this brand is super underrated. Um, I love everything about this palette. I love the variation in the colors in here. I love that it's blendable. It's buildable. It's not super, super opaque and super, you know, pigmented out the gate where it just kind of sticks in place. It never becomes muddy or patchy or anything on me. I absolutely love this one. So this is 100% a keep. And here are the swatches. I also love that it doesn't matter if I am, you know, kind of more light or if I'm gearing more towards tan. This works for me pretty much year round. So this is definitely a keep. Next up is a brand new launch. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This was the more like medium to deep shade in the Owl Palette. And I am definitely an idiot for buying this particular colorway. Um, I really wanted this basically for this like more orangey shade, but because I'm only tan for a few months out of the year, obviously this is not going to work for me all the time. If you are looking for a formula that is incredibly lightweight on the skin, that looks beautiful, that does not enhance any texture, if you have mature skin, dry skin, stunning. 
absolutely stunning. Like the hype is real around these. I think I am going to go ahead and put this in the declutter pile solely because it's going to be a little bit too deep for me most of the year. But I think I'm going to try to find whatever's the closest shade to this. This was a new shade in this particular palette. Five of these were new to their line. Um, I'm going to try to find an orangey peachy shade just as a single. And I think I would get much more use out of that. I also have a highlighter palette. Oh, I didn't bring that out. Anyways, I have a highlighter palette with three shades in it. I will be keeping that. Um, but really love this, but I know I'm not going to get as much use out of it. And it was incredibly expensive. And I also paid full price for it. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. And here are the shades. Again, super buildable. A slight luminous lit from within kind of quality to it. It looks so beautiful, especially for dry mature skin. But it is also going to be getting decluttered. Next up is my Rebel Rouge Labs Bubble Gum Face Palette. I absolutely love Rebel Rouge Labs. I've been with her since the very beginning. I do have a code with her. It is not affiliated. It's just Riri 10 for 10% off. Um, and I did purchase this myself. This, as you can see, has a couple of more like highlighty shades. We have some blush shades and then some more like peachy type blush shades. Some of these are a little bit more matte. Some of them offer a little bit of a luminous quality to them. Again, I use this one a lot. I love it. I especially love the fact that I have some neutrality here, but then that little pop of peachy orange that I really, really love. I also like that whether you have fair skin, light skin, medium, deep skin, this would work for anybody. And then you can just kind of customize it, you know, to your own needs. Of course, here are our shades. It's also another pigmented but very blendable, very layerable type of formula. I have also used this a few times as eyeshadows and it also works beautifully for that as well. So this one is definitely a keep. Next up is an Hourglass Ambient Lighting Mini palette. This is a little quad. As you can see, we have one of the face powders, a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. Again, I really feel like I want to be super specific here, and I think I would rather have singles of the ones I love, 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 and then I do have my trio that has the three highlighters in it that I, I love. Um, again, super beautiful. Love the formula here, especially, again, if you have drier or more you know textured skin, more mature skin. Here are the swatches. And as much as I love, love, love the formula, I'm, 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 again, I'm trying to be super, super brutal here and keep what I love, 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 keep what I know I'm going to use kind of as a whole and use consistently. That's one of my biggest things. So this is also going in the declutter pile. Next up is the Melt Monarca palette. Sorry about the light, you guys. This is another one that I love so much. I love that it goes from light to dark. I love that I can use it throughout the year, whether or not I'm a little bit more light, whether or not I'm super tan. This is a formula I will know that it is pigmented. You have to be really careful, and I say take a less is more approach to it, but it's absolutely stunning. I love this. I do get a lot of use out of this one. This is one that I typically will reach for, and here are the swatches. So this one is definitely a keep. Next up is the Jaclyn Hill The Flash Highlighting Palette. I really like the packaging of this. It can be slightly bulky. I'm going to try to turn it this way just so I do not blind you guys. I'm really sorry. But you can see we have four different shades here. This, in my opinion and my experience with this, is the closest you can come to the Hourglass formula. Kind of like in the same way that the By Terry one is. It's a beautiful, like, baked, almost... I don't know, very silky type of formulation. It looks absolutely stunning, especially on my mature skin. They are incredibly beaming, super high. I mean, you can see super high shine, but they lay so beautifully on the skin. They do not enhance my texture or anything like that. So this is one that I do reach for. I also like that I can use it year round. I love this palette so, so much. I really want to try to go to one of the local like TJ Maxx or Marshalls because I've been seeing a lot of people say that the blush and bronzer duos are there on sale. And I really would like to try one of those. Um, but yeah, definitely really love this. This is definitely a keep. 
I also want to pop in while I'm rinsing off swatches in between. I just want to say thank you guys so much for your love and your support. Thank you for watching. If this happens to get too long, y'all know what I say. Grab your tacos and the tequila, your milk and cookies, your Doritos, Cheetos, Fritos, whatever is your pleasure, and sit back and relax and enjoy the show. I do greatly appreciate you being here. Also, please give me some feedback down below. Do you like this type of video where I'm showing you the palette, doing swatches, but being very quick and very short and sweet about it? Let me know, because that is what I'm hoping to do with my actual palettes. Just let me know. <laughs> Next up is the BH Cosmetics Belgian Waffle Palette. This is another one that I've gotten a lot of use out of. I also like that it is pretty universal. It goes from light to dark. It has your highlighting shades and your bronzing shades. This one, I think because I have some that I like more um, and because it can be kind of subtle, you really have to build this up. I'll show you swatches, of course. But because of that, and because I have some that I really like a little bit more than this, I am going to declutter. And there are the swatches of that one. Next up is the Beetlejuice and Revolution Handbook for the Recently Deceased Highlighter Palette. To be honest, I only got it because it was Beetlejuice themed. I don't really use it. I think I've used it once or twice, possibly. Um, I do like that it, you know, offers a little bit of inclusion here. That's super important to me. But I just don't use it, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter. But here are our swatches. Next up is the Profusion Starlight Face Palette. And this, is, of course, is a drugstore brand. If you see sprinkles on anything, it's because I have my alcohol and my alcohol wipes and stuff right beside me. I'm sanitizing as I go. Um, this is really, really nice. I was actually pleasantly surprised in this with this. I got this after getting my advent calendar last year from Profusion, um, and I picked up enough to do, like, a full face. I really was super impressed with this, um, but I really have not reached for it a whole, whole lot since then. It does have a softer, like, more buildable formula, but I am going to go ahead and declutter. Of course, I will show you swatches. Next up is the Gourmand Girls Cosmetics Bold and Brilliant Palette. I do also have a affiliated code with Gourmand Girls. It is Riri 10 for 10% off. I did purchase this myself. It does have a mirror. It does fold all the way back. And I love that even in this little teeny tiny little quad, it is super inclusive. It goes from very light to dark. Um, I really, really like this formula. But if you're looking for something that is incredibly beaming, incredibly bold, I think this is absolutely stunning, but I just don't reach for it as often as I should, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter. Next up is this large Ofra on the Glow palette. It does also have a mirror. It does fold all the way back. This one I will not be swatching because I have only used the bronzer from here and then the bronzer through this area right here on my niece when I did her makeup. Everything else, aside from a little swatch right there, I have not touched and I have not used. I do also have some Ofra singles as far as highlighters that I prefer, so I am also going to declutter this one. And last, but certainly not least, is a new find for me as well. This is the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Nocti Lucent Highlighter Palette. I wanted to swatch this one last just because I knew I was going to get sparkle all over me and I didn't want it to like mess up any of the other swatches. But as you can see, they are some beautiful like translucent type or like sheer multi-chrome shadows with the exception of this one. And then each one, hopefully you can see, they look very unassuming and very just kind of white or sheer. But you can see as I turn the pan, you can see the different colors in them. Like you can see the blue, like in this one, you can see the pinky reflect here. You can see some green here. I love this so, so much more so as eye toppers, or I will do a tiny, tiny kiss of a little bit as a highlighter solely because they are very intense and very glittery. Um, I am somebody that personally does not like a glittery highlight just because I feel like it does emphasize texture sometimes. 
but I love this so much. I'm of course going to swatch it for you. I'm of course keeping this. It is absolutely stunning. Again, though, I prefer it for my eyes. Let me do some quick swatches for you guys. You can see incredibly impactful, very sparkly. But as I kind of turn away from the flash, away from the light, you can see that some of these just kind of disappear, you know, hence the translucent nature of them. So I love to pair these with shadows and putting them on top of the shadows. It just kind of enhances them. Using these as toppers, you guys, is it, they're stunning, absolutely stunning. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to count up everything that we are keeping and everything that we are decluttering. I already know just by looking at my two piles that um, I decluttered as much as I wanted to, you guys. I'm incredibly proud of myself. Also going to note, what you have in your collection is none of my business. And if you want to collect and you have every single palette from every single brand, then that is completely up to you. I am just a minimalistic type of person. I am all for keeping in my collection what I'm going to know and love and use. And yeah, just noting that for you guys, I'll be right back with our totals. All right, in our keep pile, we are keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, oh no, <laughs> seven, and eight. And we are decluttering one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And 15, you guys. So we're decluttering 15, and I'm only keeping eight. You guys, I got rid of two thirds. I am proud of myself. How do you guys think I did? Do you enjoy this format? Please, please, please comment down below. Thank y'all so much for joining me. I'll see you on the next one. I love you, beauties. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And of course, be your own best beautiful. Bye, beauties.